So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. Mm -hmm. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. <laughs> and this cute. All right, let's go ahead and see what we hear. There we go. See if it's successful. Uh, there's a plan I would like to grab here real quick. We can implement that. Lavender, not bad. You want to collect plants as far as I understand any time you can because they can be just regular buffs you can apply on you and your party to kind of just increase some of the stats. The we're near one. And we're near a chest right over here. Chest is locked. It's a golden chest, I guess. And people are making life bottles and stuff. Oh, hey, cool. I'll grab this. What do we got? Banish Blast. Uh, particularly vulnerable, so perfect natural to use it against some enemies. Okay, never mind. I already know about that. All right, cool. And AP increased. Let's go inside the place and see what the hell's going to happen here. Like, it's actually kind of cold in my house. So, th playing this right now is sending chills down my spine. What we got? We got layout. Uh, looks like an entrance on the right. If you ever want to go there. Oh, spiderwebs! Oh, just what I want to see. Just lots of giant spiderwebs. Definitely something I want to see. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Blast gauge. Uh, most effective way to build up your uh, blast gauge is to guard or evade enemies using quick step while in normal state, not armatized. Note that attacking will not replenish your blast gauge. However, it will recharge with time, and certain skills will also allow you to recharge through attacks. Gotcha. All right, let's guess. Let's go through the center here. The door won't budge. Something seems to be blocking it from the other side. Never mind. We have to go through the other side. Looks like a hotel, actually. Yeah, it looks like a hotel. This will be the reception right here. And then giant swat of those will be right over here. Yeah, actually, I'm just not even gonna go close to them, just in case. Ugh. I don't like spider webs, right? I don't like spiders. I'm not a big fan Such of them. Important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. Can I set them on fire at least? I can, so I can burn them off. That's at least something I could do. I said they spot on fire. I did Don't sort of set them on fire. My will shall pierce thee just like the spear. Nice. All right. I think we're good for now. Don't see any more spider interaction here. We got plenty of corridors to check. So I guess let's go from one to the other. There's a spider in there somewhere, I think. Hello? I'm be very careful here. Take the chest. Apple gel, not bad. Oh, what the hell is this thing? A fairy looking thing? Oh! Attacking fairies! Apparently I'm attacking fairies now. Helens with fairies? Holy shit, alright then. Oh, hell yeah. Purification complete. And that has amazing freaking damage, holy crap. Freaking lover. Let's go into here. What have we got here? Another chest. More spiders, I think, right behind me, maybe? Yeah, there's a spider coming in. Oh, how can I attack in game, in game again? Is it B? It's X, there we go, that's what it is. Oh god! There we go. Oh, that's how I switch targets again. I don't understand the social hierarchy of humans. Aren't there ranks or hierarchies among the Seraphim? Well, if you must know, whoever makes the best jokes is ranked. Pretty sure that's your rule. <laughs> whoever makes the best jokes is ranked highest. And the only one making jokes here is Alicia, so I guess she's the highest rank. Whatever. I guess that works out for him. Whatever works with Seraphim, right? Okay, let's go through here. Oh. Hello. 
Step on wheat and wheat gains strength. Step on them and what takes place. Squish, uh, squash on their bellies and their guts pop out. Squash, squashy and red flying out of the mouths. The hell? That is, I just... sinister writings, it looks like they were scrawled in blood. <laughs> that is really creepy. Holy crap, probably fairies brought something like that. Oh god, scorpion! Let's go attack him from the side then. Alright, let's go ahead and do this here. Clear out the way. Okay, I think we're now fully done and clear with this place. Although I could be completely wrong. I have been wrong before. <laughs> let's go a quick save here. We got a fairy to deal with. I guess we could probably just attack it. There we go. Alright, looks like this place is getting slightly easier to explore. There's one side over there and the other side over there. That one leads downstairs, so I think we're gonna go to the big room before we go to the downstairs area. Yeah, there's a whole downstairs area over there. Come on, check it out then. Let's go this way. See if we can get over to it. Another scorpion, huh? And two chests. Take the chests. There we go. Oh! Something's in here. Apple gel, but you cannot carry more. Currently have 15. I guess let's put uh, the apple gel back. We don't really need it at the moment. Ah, we can just take out the sc scorpion real quick. So Ray tends to get into danger. Please help him. Of course. Leave it to me. Sweet, awesome. We gotta <laughs> get Zelkara back. But holy crap, teaming up with Edna, so much damage. I love it. I have no idea how she's able to do this kind of stuff, but she does ridiculous amount of damage whenever we team up with her. You know, I'm gonna stick to that though. And Ice Pop got prepared. Not bad. Is there a limit to how much stuff we can have in our inventory, by the way? Hopefully there's not. Maybe just like certain items, like 15 apple gel, that's about it. But otherwise I hope it doesn't like limit us on what we can have in our inventory. Let's go into here. Got something below here. Oh, it doesn't need us downstairs, these is upstairs. Alright, well let's go ahead and go up here. See what we can find. Monolith. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Not yet, I don't think so. Effect potential, various effects increase effect potential, two times chance to inflict uh, ailment when enemy is weak against the attack ailment, uh, four times chance to inflict ailment when enemy stats have been reduced by an ailment. Okay, gotcha, so gotta have to keep up weaknesses in mind. Game has a lot of mecha combat mechanics, it's a little too much to remember all at once, but it is possible. Okay, cool, so I just gotta go down this dark eerie hallway. Calcite boots. Wanted something somebody else can have here. Let's check Soray first. Let's see, Kalka boots, no. Anybody else? Do you guys want the boots? No, you don't really need the boots. Do you want boots? No, you don't want boots. You want boots? No, he doesn't want boots either. She doesn't want boots either. Although it does increase magical damage and accuracy, it does lower down the defenses. So I guess whoever has more defenses, I guess we'll just give them the boots. She definitely needs defenses, so I'm not going to lower down her defenses. Hmm. I'll give him the, this. He has a decent amount of defenses, so he would just benefit from more magical attacks. What's this? Swing the blade once, cut off the right hand. Swing the blade again, there goes the left hand. The wicked thief cries out in pain. It hurts, it hurts, it screams in vain. Swing the blade once more and cut off their head. The thief goes sound. The thief is dead. Is this a statue of the shepherd? What senseless vandalism. Don't tell me they're just a bunch of kids that are hanging out here. Probably some kind of alien kids. Probably that's what it is. Let's burn the web. Let's go ahead and go take care of this as well. Let's go into here. Hello? Spiders and scorpions. Well. Alright, cool. The room is cleaned out. We gotta go through the front and we can make a left to go forward. Guess we just kinda play by ear. Something broke there. At least you're good. There you are. There's a scorpion over here. At the same time, there's a room in here. I wanna check it out real quick. And more spiders. Wonderful. Another spider. Calcut hairband. What's that? Can we check something else out? 
Uh, I guess we should probably take care of the spider first. He's just chasing us there. Can I set him on fire at least? I guess I can. Alright, so let's check out this bust here. Found a new discovery point, Statue of the Conqueror. This statue, it radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but, but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. Well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I mean, not much. Just enough via normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. <laughs> oh my god, this game is amazing. <laughs> First, the girls go get hot and bothered. Then the guys get kind of bothered. Not really hot, but definitely bothered by the statue. I'm gonna go ahead and skip out on the spider. And then we finally figure out that, hey, if they're just a freaking statue, let's just get over ourselves. And more laughing things all over the place. That is really eerie. I'm just trying to avoid the scorpion here. I guess I could probably fight her quick. You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. And everybody freaking leveled up from that battle. Holy crap. Oh wow, everybody leveled up. We all level 14 and everything. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, let's go in here then. Now we're on the outside the place. And there's a whole lot more to discover. Now we can go inside the room. We could probably check it out as well. See what's in here. So what was keeping locked? Oh, it's the spider web. A Found a monolith as well. Let's clear this open real quick. Anything back here? There's some plants we could take. I'll take that. There's a monolith on the ground here or under the stairs. Okay, what do we got here? Combo effect. Uh, if the combo is interrupted, you will briefly find that further attacks are rendered ineffective. Other than try to restart your attacks, it's a better idea to get your footing and ready for your enemy's counterattack. After all, probably low on the sea at this point. Yeah, I guess so. Don't clear this up. And received soft serve ice cream. Not bad. I'll take that. Alright, now that we're almost done here, let's go through to the other side and see if we can find a way to get to the other room. I think the very last room of this place. There we go. Who is the final entity here? We got a safe point. I mean, something's bound to happen here. It's a good thing we're gonna save right here. There we go. Alright, we're going in. See who we're gonna mess with. It's gonna be kind of eerie. Got a painting in the middle. Hello. Whoa. What the hell? Okay then. This thing is not taking any damage whatsoever. Got it. Oh, hello. What? I, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? What are you? 
What a fool I was. I should have realized you would be here, attack. Oh my goodness! It's pretty Lady Lila. How you been? <laughs> what? They know each other? <laughs> Rejected. Oh. Is this a friend of yours? Sort of. It was a long time ago. My name's Attack. She used to please ya. Wow. That's a weird name. Well, aren't you rude? Don't you know that Attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. <laughs> sure. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. It does. Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. It is it? Is? Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. How? Well... They have the ability to boost another Seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. That's my Lila. You know me like the back of your lily white hand. <laughs> get, get rejected. Like a maid? I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Yeah, me neither. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. Billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. Okay. I'm not sure I want to understand. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. Well, then the place wasn't really haunted. It just had a very obnoxious uh, seraphim in there, and uh, she also leveled up. Not bad. What do you think about this? Uh, let's see, never met such an eccentric seraph. And where could be the relation between Norman and Edna? There's something she's not telling us. I think Edna and that Norman, I think that was ca that Norman was captured, the one that's on umbrella, and used as a talisman for Edna, maybe? To make her so powerful? Who knew Honestly, I have no idea, but I kind of want to know what the hell is going on here. Nicholas, sunlight girl, Jean-Luc's the loomer. <laughs> This is a massacre! Who could have done such a thing? Yeah, uh, well... You did. You turned into a Hellion. I remember. It was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and... And now they're gone forever! Aww, sorta? I don't know if I should be saying aww or not. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually very much confused on what the hell is going on here. Do we fight him? Is that it? Did, did we do what we need to do? Let's save here, just in case. Yeah, there we go, just save right here. Um... Attack! What on earth happened that made you turn into a Hellion? I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Oh. Got to whittle my days away, just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. Are we gonna just have to walk with him the entire way until he can tell us exactly what happened? Like how he turned to a and everything and what the hell happened here exactly? Is he downstairs now? Yes, he is. Ah, well, at least we finally finished the entire place. Let's at least figure out what the hell happened to him and what ended up happening to his place as well. You gonna tell us or? But ever since the country.
centuries took to fight and the humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it. Burn it. So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. It's true. to move the art on the black market. Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money in their, their grubby little hands. Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring. And then... That's when I became a Hellion. It's not your fault, Attack. Thanks, son. I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. Son, how old is this guy? But well, he's probably older than me. <laughs> now, at least we figure out what exactly happened here, you know? Guess we'll just leave him alone for a bit. We could probably just leave the place then. We got no reason to stay here. So we figure out what exactly happened here. The war and everything else. Never thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. Yeah, that was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused attack such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? All of us could become Hellions. <sighs> Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Do not undervalue your ideals nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy in a way. Okay, understood. Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? No. Oh. I guess you're right. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Now what can we do from here from now on? I guess the only other thing we can do is maybe fight this, the Drake? Maybe that's the only other thing we can do really? I mean we can't really do go inside and help out the little guy attack. I don't know if he can I don't know if anything will help him at this point. Not sure what we can do. What do you think, Alicia? Mm, do like do you think we did right about Agatha? It's like partially Hellenized, at least we purified Yeah, at least we purified a powerful Hellion, I guess, right? Sorta? Indeed, we're progressing in leaps and bounds. Even so, the town is still cloaked in malevolence. We need to continue our investigation. You yeah, have definitely got to see. But there's maybe something gonna happen in the town, who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up right around here. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and Life Bottle was prepared by. Alicia. There you go. <laughs> Make sure I get the name right. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Slamreal. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the <laughs> Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing I kinda wanna say you could rest better. Mm. <laughs>